An accused killer from Luzerne County was in court today to face charges in connection with the murder, but the scheduled hearing never took place. Now, this case started as a missing persons case five years ago. Now it's an ongoing homicide investigation. The I team's Annie Mahalshik live in West Hazleton tonight with details on this story. Andy? Well, Nick and Candace, investigators say, even veteran investigators say, this is one of the most complicated and bizarre cases they have ever handled. Now, Roberto Torner and David Alzagre are accused of killing Jose Haran back in 2015. And troopers say the two men did everything they could to cover up that murder. Roberto Torner is escorted out of district court on Tuesday. We tried talking with him about the investigation. Now, we talked about a month ago, you were saying that you were friends with Mr. Haran. Can you explain that? Or elaborate on that? Torner and David Alzugare were arrested back on February 10th. This video was taken on that day. Alzugare appeared via video conference on this day. Investigators say Torner had some sort of disagreement in 2015 with Haran and wanted him dead. Torner allegedly tried to hire two people to kill Haran. Detectives say eventually, Al Zugare took Heron to a Foster Township property and shot him to death. Investigators say Al Zugare confessed to the murder. State police searched that property in 2018. It was owned by Torner, and they say they found evidence of the murder, including bone fragments. According to arrest papers, Torner and Al Zugare dismembered Heron's body, burned it, and dumped it into the Lehigh River near Whitehaven. Now, confidential informants came forward with information connecting Haran's murder to Torner and Al Zugare. It's a very complex case, um, but we took our time with it. There's been a very thorough investigation, and we're confident once we get it to a jury that we'll get a conviction on all the charges on both defendants. But the evidence gathering is not over yet. We do uh, ask that anyone with information come forward. Um, just because charges have been filed in this case doesn't mean that we're not continually working on it. If you have information, please come forward. Now, today's hearing was postponed until April 13th because neither man had an attorney, which surprised many troopers and detectives. Now, both men are no stranger to the law. Both are facing arson charges in connection with a fire in Carbon County near Weatherly in 2017. And several weeks ago, Torner was sentenced to more than 20 years in prison after being convicted in federal court for obtaining and, and possessing illegal explosives. Reporting live at the State Police Barracks in West Hazleton, Andy Bohal, Chicago Witness News.